everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and this week's featured storybook is the perfect read aloud for welcoming our upcoming new season, spring. So spring is the season when the flowers are blooming and the world is bustling and buzzing with new life. It's the season of baby bunnies and baby birds hatching from their eggs and entering the world with their chirping bird song. If you listen closely, you might hear some baby birds chirping in the background. <laughs> That's what's fun about being outside is you hear all the wonderful spring sounds around you. Well, this week's featured storybook, Mother Bruce, is the perfect read aloud for introducing the idea and the new season of spring to little ones. And it also even gets into the science of bird migration and animal imprinting. Ooh. And it does all of this through a hilariously charming story of a grumpy bear whose favorite food is eggs and how he comes to raise a gaggle of just hatched goslings, so these little geese. So you'll fall in love with this little mixed family as you see how Grumpy Bear learns himself to fall in love with his new found family and little goslings. So let's begin this spring read aloud. All right, my friends, so the title of our storybook is Mother Bruce, written and illustrated by Ryan T. Higgins. So that means Ryan T. Higgins drew all of the pictures and he wrote all of the words that you're going to hear and see in our story. All right, Mother Bruce, but I see here that it actually says Mother Goose, and then Goose is crossed off, and on top is written Bruce. And do you see, do you see the little gosling or the little baby goose that has the pen in his hand or the crayon that marked off Bruce? You see him? It's right over here. I see he has like a little white crayon that he seems to cross off Bruce, goose and put Bruce. And I'm wondering, who do you think Bruce is? Maybe Bruce is the bear? Let's see, what do you notice? What animals are here on this cover? A big black bear and some, they look like little chicks. They're actually baby geese, and baby geese are called goslings. Can you say that with me? Goslings. And how many baby goslings do you see? One, two, three, four baby goslings. And I see they're climbing all over the bear. How does the bear feel? What does his facial expression look like? Mm, does he look too happy? Not too happy. Maybe a little kind of like, what's going on? Maybe a little grumpy or kind of frustrated maybe that they're like climbing all over him. All right, well, let's find out just what this bear is doing with four little goslings on him. Mm. Also up here, I see that this book won an award, the Ezra Jack Keats Honor Book. And if you remember, Ezra Jack Keats wrote The Snowy Day that we read back in wintertime. So that was a winter book. Today we have a spring book for the new season of spring. All right, here's our title page. It has our title, Mother Bruce. And look, I see Bruce here. And looks like he's getting ready to eat dinner. Mm. Has our author and illustrator. Where does this story take place, my friends? Looks like in the forest, the woods. All right, let's begin. Who do we see here? The bear. Hmm. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. Hmm. He was a grump. Grump. That means he was very grumpy. Do you know what grumpy is? Grumpy is when you're not too happy sometimes. Can I look at his face. He kind of looks like his grump. His eyebrows are down. Can you make a grumpy face? <laughs> he did not like the rain. He did not like sunny days. He doesn't like rain or sun. Then what kind of day does he like? And he did not like cute little animals. <gasps> not even cute little bunnies. Is he a very happy bear? No. Bruce only liked one thing. Eggs. Do you like to eat eggs, my friend? Hmm. He collected them from all over the forest. So I see that there's this little speech bubble. See this little bubble means that he's talking. And this is what he says. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. Mrs. Sparrow is a type of bird. And what do 
is he doing in there? What is he doing in that tree, you think? Getting her eggs? But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like the other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. Oh my gosh, my friends, that's kind of silly. Have you ever seen a bear use the internet? Oh wow, that's a silly bear. And look at all these different ways that he eats eggs. What are some ways that he eats his eggs? Yeah, on toast, uh, fried. How do you like to eat your eggs? Mmm. So it looks like he likes fancy egg dishes. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. Mmm. So like salmon's this type of fish, and he looks, I see some bees for the honey. So he went out to get the ingredients. Look at our bear, what is he pushing? A shopping cart. So ingredients, he's getting all the ingredients, all the different parts of all the different foods you need to make a new food. So for the ingredients he needed, first he caught a few salmon. Where is he catching salmon from? The water, because they're a fish. Then he collected honey from a local beehive, so a beehive that was nearby. He liked to support local businesses, you see. And last, he went to Mother Goose's nest to pay her a visit. What is he going to get from Mother Goose? Goose eggs. Are these eggs free-range organic? So that means, are these eggs fresh, not from the store? They must be pretty fresh, right? Because they come straight from Mother Goose. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for a hard boiling. So my friends, have you ever had a hard boiled egg? It's when you take the egg and you keep it in its shell and you put it in hot water. And then after a few minutes, you take them out and the egg inside is all hard and you crack open the shell and you eat the egg. But the fire in his stove fizzled. It went out. It died. Uh-oh. Can you cook if there's no fire? So he went out to get more wood. Look at here. He's looking in the stove to see if there's fire. What does he see instead? A bunch of smoke. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. What do you think he saw when he came back to his stove and his eggs? Let's see. Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. So that means that someone thinks that he's someone he's not. And what surprise did he see when he came back? The eggs hatched into little goslings. And who do they think he is that he's not? Mama! They think he's their mama. Is he their mama? No, he's a bear. Uh-oh. How does Bruce feel about seeing goslings instead of his eggs? Grumpy and not too happy about it, huh? Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslings. Bruce supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast. But for some reason, he lost his appetite. He wasn't that hungry for buttered goslings on toast. So Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. She wants to bring back those eggs that aren't eggs anymore, the little goslings. Only to find that Mrs. Goose had flown south early. I wonder why Mrs. Goose flew south. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out later. Be back in April, Mother Goose. So she's flying south and she'll be back in April. What is he going to do with the geese until then? The baby geese. Bruce left the goslings there anyways and went back home. Hmm. Uh-oh. So he just left them. What do you think is going to happen now to them? Oh, what are they doing? Look, they're saying, Mama? Mama? And who do they think Mama is? The bear. But he was followed. <gasps> Looks like they're following him home. Bruce was very stern and said things like, he was very serious and he said, Go away. And I am not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. How do you think the little goslings feel when he says all those things? Not too happy, right? 
But do you think they stay anyways? Let's see. Roar! Can you make a big bear roar? Roar! Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. How do the little goslings feel when they hear the loud roar? Kind of scared. Do you think they'll leave now? Did it work, my friends? It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. So no matter what, they always follow whoever they think their mom is. And they think their mom is Bruce the Bear. Mama, look, he's trying to run away. And he even climbed up a tree. Did that work? No. Like the little geese are like, Mama? Ay, ay, ay. Looks like they follow him everywhere. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. Huh. So even though he has the goslings and he didn't really want them, it looks like, well, I'm stuck, so I might as well make a good situation out of it. That's a good thought to have, my friends. If something happens that you don't like but you can't change it, well, let's just make the best of it. Try to make it as fun as possible for yourself. So what is he doing over here with them? They're swimming in a pool. Because do geese like water? They do. They like to swim in ponds and stuff, huh? <laughs> and look at Bruce. Does he look like he's having fun? Not really. But are the goslings? Yeah. <gasps> ay, ay, ay. yi. It was hard work. Oh, look at this. Why do you think it was such hard work? Because they kind of made a mess, right? Hmm. And look right here. He has little, like, pouches for them all to sit in. And look. They have little high chairs where they eat. Did you ever eat in the high chair when you were little? And he's trying to feed them, and let's see what they're saying. They're saying, black, ew, yuck. Kind of picky eaters, huh? Oh, look how tiring it was. They're all sleepy. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. So as seasons pass, that means the year is going by. So it was spring, now winter. So first they were annoying baby geese. And then after babies, they turned into stubborn teenage geese. So ge teenage geese, I didn't want to listen to you. Like teenagers. And then they came boring adult geese. <laughs> Which one would you want to have? An annoying baby, a stubborn teenager, or a boring adult goose? They all sound like they could have good things and bad things about them, huh? Then, one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Huh. That reminds me of the mother goose who flew south. Wonder where they're going. Finally, he'd be rid of these geese and he could take a long winter nap. Because, my friends, guess what? Bears, during the winter time, they sleep all winter long. <gasps> It's called hibernation. Can you say hibernation? Hibernation is when bears sleep all winter. But it looks like bears sleep, and then what do goose families do during the winter? They don't sleep. They fly south. I wonder why. Well, so Bruce explained migration. Let's see. What is he doing with his arms? Looks like he's flapping them like wings. Because migration, my friends, migration is when birds fly south during the winter time, where it's warmer. So the winter time, it gets really cold where they are. So they fly south where it's sunny and warm because birds need to stay warm. So that must be why all the birds are flying south. Do you think the birds are going to learn migration and leave him? Let's see. But they didn't listen. Look at they're all dressed in their winter clothes. They got sweaters, scarves. When it's cold, what do you wear? Sweaters and scarves and stuff. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. What did he do, my friends, to try to teach them how to fly and leave? Yeah, look at this picture. It looks like he's putting them in like a slingshot, and if he pulls back, the geese might zoom, go flying out when he lets go, right? 
Do you think that's going to work? Do you think they're going to go? I don't know. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. Look, what is he trying here? It looks like he put them in little remote control airplanes and is trying to fly them away. And what happened? They just came right back to him. Ah! Sigh. Oh, my friends. Look at, but they just love him, right? So, Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. Look at, where are they going? Looks like there's a bus. Where do you think he's taking them? Hmm. They boarded a bus. So, if the geese aren't going to go south by themselves, what do you think Mother Bruce is going to do? Maybe go with them. And they all migrated to Miami, way down south in a state called Florida, where it's super warm and sunny. Look at that. Does that look like wintertime or summertime where it's nice and hot to you? It looks super warm where they are, huh? So my friends, the geese didn't want to go by themselves because they wanted to stay with their mama. So what did they do instead? They all went together. And look, remember how we said bears hibernate? Do you remember what that means? They sleep all winter long. So what is Mother Bruce doing? He's sleeping. And what are the goslings doing? What's going on here? Some are floating, some are relaxing. Looks like they're having a nice winter. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They all go together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts. So these shirts with all the flowers. Sipping ice cold lemonade. Mmm. While Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. What kind of recipes is he dreaming about? Egg recipes that don't turn into goslings. Oh, my friends. But even though he got the goslings, did it turn out to be a bad thing or a good thing for him? It turned out to be a good thing, right? Because now he has this new family that he hangs out with and all these geese who really love him, huh? Oh, what a nice new family he has. And look how fun they are having vacation together. Look here. There's like this little turtle and he's going, Mama? <gasps> Is that his mama? No, that's a goose. I wonder if the same thing is going to happen with the goose and the turtle. The end. Maybe that's book number two. All right, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed this spring read aloud. And we learned about some new things in this book. We learned about hibernation. Remember that word? Where the bear sleeps all winter. We learned about migration. They kind of sound the same, right? Hibernation, migration. But migration is when the geese and the birds, they fly south during the winter time to stay nice and warm. Hmm. And we also learned, my friends, that when some baby animals see someone or the first animal they see they think is their mama, then they stick with that person forever. Or they really want to follow that person along or that animal that they think is their mom and they don't want to leave them. And that's called imprinting. So that's a new word you can think about and maybe talk and learn more about later. So my friends, this also is a super silly book, wasn't it? With the grumpy bear and the goslings. What was your favorite part? Yeah. I like the part where he tries to launch them into the sky to fly south with a slingshot. And then they just like come right back. Also in the airplane part when they try to fly away in the airplanes. That was funny. But I also liked in the end how he decided that even though he didn't really want the Gossings in the first place. He's like, you know what? I'm going to make the best out of it. And he turned something that he didn't like so much into a really good thing for himself, huh? That's so nice. Has something ever happened where you were like, oh, this sucks. This is a bad situation. Yeah. Well, did you find a way to make it better? Well, if you did, that's great. 
But if not, then maybe next time you can try to find a way to make it a good situation. Because if you're stuck with it, might as well have fun and make it good, right? Yeah. Alright, my friends, it's time to move on to this week's craft. It's super cute. So for this week's craft, we have our bear headband. And look what's attached to the bear headband. I have these bear ears. And you remember how the goslings always follow the bear around everywhere? Well, look who's following the bear. One, two, three, little, four little goslings. So this is a super cute craft that is also great for um, reading aloud the story with while you have it. Because watch, you just put it on your head like this. And then you got these bear ears just like the grumpy bear, Mother Bruce. And then, just like in the storybook, you have the little goslings that follow you along behind you everywhere you go. So no matter where you go, if you're walking around, you'll always have the little goslings following along attached to you right behind one, two, three, four little goslings going along with you. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So your little one can dress up as a bear and then they'll always have their little goslings following along because they can become mama bear. All right, my friends. So this one's super simple. It's just construction paper, a piece of ribbon or string, some markers, tape or glue. And all the instructions for this craft can be found on my blog, my storybook, by clicking on the link below. And of course, on the blog, you can also find the main themes and ideas, some vocabulary to point out in this story, as well as step-by-step -step directions and pictures of how to make this craft. And of course, if you do do this craft, please share with my storybook, either on Instagram, Facebook, um, on the blog, or comment here on YouTube letting me know, so that I can share all of your beautiful creations and see what you make and hear about your own reading adventures. All those social media links can be found in the comments or description below. All right, my friends, well, I hope you enjoyed this spring read aloud. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of our reading adventures and have fun learning about new books and talking about them. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for a new read aloud. Happy reading!